remember these guys. Books used to be the way to go back in the old days. Before we had these guys, we had these guys. I haven't bought a book in a long time, but I sure did always enjoy them. I don't see a date on there, but it's been a little while ago. You used to spend real money on them. You know, a nice hardcover book. It wasn't cheap, but... They were always there. Nothing like a bookshelf full of books. It's kind of like your old friends, you know? Used to spend a lot of time together. And typically, I don't know how this one made it. It must have been my most recent one. I never kept the covers on my books very much. It always seemed like they ended up like this. But <laughs> you can tell they were good by the pages. When they get a little bit dog-eared. Possibly the dog got that one. <laughs> or, more likely, spend a lot of good hours in the jacuzzi sitting and reading and the bottom part would get wet. I've heard it said, and I believe it's true, you can tell a lot about a person by the books that they would have on their bookshelf. Now, for me... I got some of these out because I was I'm going to uh, for this series that I'm working on, but um, you know I've got some on Franklin. I like um, biographies. I would say that's my genre. I'm not big into fictional stuff. I know a lot of people are, but I I just I guess I'm interested in real life, what people went through and how they overcame problems or dealt with different situations. This old, old Teddy, and you got Lincoln, another one on Teddy, of course Johnny Adams. This is just a, a few that I wanted to bring out just to, to make the point. It was another essay that I wrote on um, Knew Me, just about, it was like an ode to books. And, you know, in a way I kind of miss them, you know. I haven't uh, spent a long time in the bathtub reading a book in too long, probably. There's just, I, and, you know, these are convenient these are not, I mean, you know, think about, you can have how many of these books, like, all just here. But, you know, I'm from the age of, if you wanted to off somebody, if they're in the bathtub, you throw the, the toaster in there, right? Like on TV. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm assuming this wouldn't hurt you, but who knows? I don't want to test it out. You drop that sucker while you're in the tub, what happens? For sure, at least you're going to be out in, you know, an expensive iPad. Or phone. Old book, you know, it gets a little wet, you just brush it off. Let it dry out as good as new. <laughs> I guess, you know, some things, like anything, when things progress, some ways they get better. Some ways, the old ways were pretty good, too. I mean, I'm all for progress. But, you know, there's still something to be said for an old book. Sitting there waiting for you on the bookshelf. It's kind of like an old friend, you know. Somebody you haven't talked to in years, but uh, maybe they call you. Maybe you call them. Maybe you run into them at the store and 
you know what? It's just like old times. You can connect right back. I've always said, the thing that makes a book good is it meets you at a certain point in time and it gives you what you need at that point in time. And that's what makes a book just stellar. You know, it can really speak into your life, what you're going through at that point. And I think that's an awesome thing. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed just my little, my little ode to the almost forgotten book. I mean, it's been way too long since I've been to a bookstore. Maybe I should treat myself, you know. You can go in there and just be lost for a long time looking at all the different books. I don't know. Maybe it's a dying thing. Maybe it's not. Let me know what you think. I appreciate it. We'll see you.